Welcome. In this lecture, we would solve the questions related to quantitative aptitude asked in 2021 examination for your net. Now, few of the questions were very direct, but the other questions were extremely tricky. So you need to have a good understanding of the concepts. Let's do some of the questions which were asked. So the very first question says that the average of 10 positive numbers is x. So let me, my numbers would be x1, x2, x3 and so on till x10 divided by 10 and the average is x. In the second case, if I increase each of the number as 1.1x, 1.1x2, 1.1 x3 so on till 1.1 x10 divided by 10 then my new average would increase by so my new average would increase by 10 percent just solve the equations a very simple question that was asked okay the next is a sum of money on a simple interest doubles itself in 10 years it would triple itself in so the sum of the money doubles itself. So P plus PRT by 100, which is the simple interest, would be double. So that would be 2P. Okay. So I can say PRT by 100 would be P. Now, my time is 10. So how would I calculate the rate? P and P cancel. So my rate would be 10%. Now, in which, in how many years would it triple? So in the th second equation that I would build, I would say P plus PRT by 100, it would be triple, so it would become 3P. Okay, so PRT by 100 would be 3P minus P, which is 2P. Okay, now in this case, my rate is 10 and I would cancel P and P, so I would have 10 pt by 100 is equal to 2p i solve this and i calculate t so i get t as 20 years so my time here would be 20 years just solve the second equation so for simplicity i can write it as t1 and t2 okay the next question is what is the rate of simple interest in a bank if the principal amount of 5000 becomes 10000 in 8 years so how do we do it prt by 100 is the simple interest and the amount becomes 5000 becomes 10,000. So what is the simple interest? The simple interest earned would be 10,000 minus 5000 which is 5000. Okay, my principal again is 5000 into 8 which is the number of years into rate divided by 100 is equal to 5000. I solve and I find the value of R. So that's my rate which would be 100 by 8 and that's 12.5. So 12.5 becomes the correct answer here. Again, a very direct question. The next question is a work and rate problem. We have covered the, those on the channel and in the complete video series as well. So again, a simple problem. Gopal can do a piece of work in three days. So in one day's work, Gopal can do one by three and Ravi can do one by four. I take an LCM 12 that is 4 is to 3. So I can say 4 by 12 is to 3 by 12. Okay. So or I can say 4 is to 3 is the ratio of the work. Now the wages for the full work is 3500. If both of them work together to complete the work, then find the earnings of Ravi. So both of them combined would be 4 plus, seven, 4 plus 3 which is 7. Ravi is the second one. So 3. Okay. So my share of Ravi here would be 3 by 4 plus 3 into 3500. And the share of Gopal would be 4 by 4 plus 3 into 3500. And I'll have the answers for these two. As simple as that. So that's how I solve this question. Again, a very direct problem which was asked. The next question is the least number of 5 digit which is exactly divisible by 12, 15 and 18. So what I do is I take the LCM of 12, 15 and 18. Okay. That is... 3 into uh, 3 square into 2, 3 into 5 and 3 into 2 square. So that is 2 square into 3 square into 5 which is 180. Now once I have the LCM, I need to find out a smallest 5 digit number which is divisible by 180. So if I take the number which is uh, let's say uh, a five digit number which is 
टेन थाउजेंड एंड आई डिवाइडेड बाई वन एटी आई गेट सर्टन क्वेश्चन सो लेट से माई क्वेश्चन बिकम्स फिफ्टी सिक्स सो आई वुड हैव टू टेक दिस क्वेश्चन एंड एड एट टू द नंबर इन ऑर्डर टू गेट द वैल्यू सो दैट मीन्स आई एम मेकिंग इट श्योर दैट आई एम डिवाइड मल्टीप्लाइंग वन एटी विथ फिफ्टी सिक्स एंड आई एम गेटिंग a right number and that's where i would find out that uh, the quotient becomes the correct answer so when i divide this by this i get 55 okay so if we add 80 to it okay then it would be divided by 180 and therefore we require a quotient of 56 so 180 into 56 would be how much and that would be the smallest digit that would be divisible by 180 similar uh, simple so i repeat it again i get the lcm now this lcm i divided with the least five digit number which is 10000 and i get a quotient uh, quotient and a remainder now that remainder and the quotient is important so i multiply 180 with the quotient and find out the number and that would be the answer that i would get here looking at the photo of a man ravi said his mother is the wife of my father's son so looking at the photo of a man ravi says that this person's mother is the wife of my father's son so my father's son wife okay i have no brothers and sisters okay so whose photo was ravi looking on so ravi is looking on to whose photo the ravi says that the photo of the man that his mother so i am talking about this pictures photo and i am saying that his mother is the wife of my father's son so the the mother of this person is the wife of my son of my father so son of the father's wife that is me uh, my wife and then whose photo was ravi looking on to ravi was looking on to the son of ravi so this wife is actually no one but ravi's wife as simple as that so this person is ravi's wife and the son of the ravi's wife would say that she is my mother okay so who is this person this person is the son of ravi as well so this son is ravi since the ravi does not have any brother or sister okay charcoal and coal car how do we code it so coal is 49 uh, 4913 so 4913 and then car okay so i remove h that is 61 416 okay so 416 so d becomes the 4 becomes the right option very direct question here the next is shagun purchased a smartphone at 9 10th of the selling price so let my selling price be 100 so what would be my cost price 9 10th of 100 which is 90 rupees is my cost price he sold it at 8% more than the selling price so uh, he sold it at 8% more than the selling price selling price was 100 8% more than it so that's 8 more rupees so 108 what is the profit so profit is 108 minus 90 which is the cost price divided by 90 into 100 which is 18 divided by 90 into 100 So eighteen one five and this is twenty percent. So twenty percent is the right answer. So my gain here is twenty percent. As simple as that. The next question is a very interesting question asked on angles. This is for the first time we have witnessed a question in uh, the section on uh, net, which was based on the concept of geometry. So what are supplementary angles? Acute angles, obtuse angles. Acute angles are angles less than ninety degrees. Obtuse angles are angles more than ninety degree. Complementary angles are the angles whose sum is ninety degree. Supplementary angles are the angles whose sum is one eighty degree. So supplementary together they form one eighty. Complementary together they form ninety degree. Acute is less than ninety. Obtuse is more than ninety uh, but less than. Uh, 180. So we call those as obtuse angles. So that's the 
common uh, definitions that have been asked now this is a very interesting problem the question says root of 5 root of 5 root of 5 root of 5 till infinity if it goes how would i find out the value of this equation so i just consider that root of 5 root of 5 root of 5 and root of 5 is what it is x now i square both the sides when i square both the sides i say this becomes 5 root of 5 root of 5 root of 5 and this becomes x square now what is root of 5 root of 5 root of 5 as i already mentioned this was in the very beginning we said this is x because it's going up to infinity so i say 5x is equal to x square so i can write it as x square minus 5x is equal to 0 a square minus b square is the formula that you would apply so my x would become 0 or 5 0 cannot be the option so what would be the possible option is 5 okay so my answer here is the value of this formulation would be how much the value of this formulation would be 5 and this was a really difficult questions from considering the net perspective however once you are acquainted with how we have solved it this becomes a relatively very easy problem but yes definitely a different kind of question which was asked in one of the sets this time so make sure you are able to answer the variety of questions that are coming in your net examination the complete video course links are available in the description below if you have any questions or queries feel free to connect back to us we'll be more than happy to resolve your queries wish you very good luck for joining